Hey, Jenny Jones here, Digital Marketing Tool Shed. What I wanna do is take you through a simple setup of um, your easy course dashboard. Now, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe if you'd like. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos on easy course. Um, that is the buzz right now. They're, they're coming out with a lot of new uh, additions and right now it's a pretty hot um, um, platform that people are using. It's all in one platform. It gives you everything, communities, classes, courses, uh, meetings, and so on and so forth. So the all in ones are being more popular now because people are trying to um, keep their costs at a minimum, definitely in this type of environment. So let me just kind of tell you what I would do if I was setting up my um, website for the first time. The first thing that I would do is obviously you come here, this is your dashboard, you're gonna see website builder. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get a lay of the land. Before you start setting up courses and products or anything like that, you wanna get a good feel of what your website is gonna look like. So you're gonna to go to, um, you know, you're gonna to go to all pages, all site pages. So mine is a, mine looks a little bit different, right? And um, what they had here is they had a, a home right they had a home uh which was the actual um initial page what i did was i duplicated so i cloned so you have edit build and then you have uh then you have clone here and then whatever you clone you can mark any one as your home so once you build it out this one i built out but what what I did was I then made that my home. So you can take any one of these and make it your home and that'll be your home landing page. So let me just show you what I would do. So I would come to home, which is their home right there. And then I would clone this page. And the reason why I would clone it is because I don't wanna mess up my original home template that they put together for me. So I'm just gonna clone that page. So I'm gonna clone that page and I'll call it uh, uh, my new, landing home right so i'll call it my new uh landing home right and i got some other stuff here blurred out because i my site is still under wraps so it'll say hey do you want to make it public do you want to make it private unpublished and so on and so forth so i'll make it open and they always ask you do you want to make it free or premium premium means you're going to charge a price to get to it so this is free right and it's open to everyone. So I'll create it here, I created a new page and this is it right here. This is my new landing home. So that's my new landing home. So let's go in, you have to go to build. There's edit, which allows you to make it, um, you can change it to a premium page or you can charge for it or you can just hide it. That's edit is gonna give you your basic things that you can do, you can change on it, right? But to go in and start customizing it, you're gonna hit the uh the build tab here so let's go in and let's take a look at it so this is the actual um page that i actually cloned my original page i actually cloned and what you do is you then start you start building out what i would do is i would go i would scroll down and says uh you know i don't know if i like that i may keep that about us i don't know if i want it on this page right and then you just do you're taking inventory of the different things that you may or may not keep. You may come here and say what you will get. He says, ah, you know what? I I think I wanna change this a different way. I wanna probably put my hottest classes here. And so you have to just take a look at what it is that you wanna do. I know I don't want this, what our students are saying. I don't want that there. So frequently asked questions, ah, I might leave that there. This box looks bulky. I don't want that there, right? And so then you do that. And so you go through, you do that. Then the first thing that I would do is, is okay, I like this landing splash, right? So I might wanna change this, this is uh, find the best uh, teachers. And you just start editing from there, right? And you say, hey, find the best teachers. I'm just giving you an example of what you would do here, right? And then for here, I might say, okay, uh, let me change that because you click on it and it'll show here, join our course. Then I'll say, I may change this to see our courses, right? And change that, see that change to see our courses. Got that there. And I can come and edit this if I want, right? I can go in and say helping people 
I'll just put from everywhere. Right, I can change that. And then I want to save, right? And then I can save, right? And then I can preview it if I want. So I'm just letting you know. So that's kind of how you do that. If I wanted to come here and um, change this, this would be the uh, photo of that. I can trash that. What I want you to do is I want you to see the other video. I'll probably put it up top and how to customize your pages uh, and how to create a customized page from scratch. And it'll show you how to replace this exact copy of this photo. I'm not going to get into that now. It's a little advanced technique, but basically essentially what you do is you, you copy the URL, take the page, and then look at the elements and it'll tell you the size. So you can probably see a video up top or below and I'll show you how to do that. So that's how it, I'm going to just show you how you swap it out. Right. But if you want the same size photo, then you have to do a little bit more advanced text. So let's just swap that out. Let's add a new image. Add a new image. Uh, let's just add my image there. So the only one I got there that I see, and I just dropped that in there, right? I just swapped that photo out for that particular image, and I just put it there. So I'm gonna save again. All right. So now we got that right. So when it comes to changing your colors, right? Um, what you're gonna do is it's gonna show here the background color of that. That's a normal color. So I'll change that to, I don't know, let's make it uh, red, right? I'm just giving you an example of what you can do. So let's make that red. All right, so we got that. But when people hover over it, you see it turns purple. So we'll change, that's normal. Let's, let's change the hover color, which is now purple. Let's change that to blue, right? Let's change it to blue. All right, press enter on that. So now it has a hover of blue. You see that? And you can always go up there. Whatever you click on, you have to go over here and your menu over here is gonna tell you what you need to be doing or what you need to be changing, right? Don't get too caught up into a lot of the different things here uh, initially, right? This is the, the background color I'm assuming uh, this is a custom style template. This background I'm assuming is white, which is six Fs uh, that give us the background of white. So that's the color. This is the, the custom, some of the custom colors in here as well. So, and then this is a background color of something else. Oh, that's the background color of that. Okay, so, all right, so, now, if I want to swap out something, let's say, um, let's say I want to swap this out. I don't like this, so I'll remove it. So I'll click on the trash can, right? I'll just click on the trash can, and it took that out. So, but I do want to add a different section. So I'll go add section below. And then I have all these different blocks and there's all these sample blocks that you can just add in and then you can edit on top of that. So I didn't like that one, but let's say I want one and it, you can kind of get, these are the categories here and it says, you know what, what if I want to add my courses? I want people to see my courses there. So what if I want to use something like this? You can preview it here or you can just insert it. So we inserted it and that's how you do that. That's how you build out, but you have to you have to have vision when you sit down and you're going to do your your different colors. I mean, not your colors, but when you want to do your different classes and you just go in here, you edit the classes. Hey, choose the right. Go here and go choose the right best class for you. Right. Save out, save frequently, save often. Right. You can always have an undo here if you don't like what you did. If you don't like this whole thing, you can just go to the high, you go to the highest, the highest, you see there's bubbles here, there's blocks here. You go to the highest block and it's gonna give you a delete if you don't like that, right? Then if you want to go somewhere, uh, once a person clicks on join now, what you can do is you can go and you can say, hey, where do I want them to go? And it says right here, it says link type. Right now it has no link. So let me click on it again. It says no link. Let's go to 
a page or let's go to a section, right? Um, and so that's where you sit, you, you put that in, you, you make the link. So let me show you how it looks with the page. So if you click page, which is more likely what you'll pick, once you click page, you can actually drop down here and figure out what other pages that you want, okay? And that's what you do there. That, that allows you to do that. So you can click on a different page that you want. Then you just hit save and then you're, you're good to go. And then you can, uh, you can preview it, right? And so this is the actual page that it created, right? We said it's red, mouse over is uh, blue, right? And then you can go down here. We swap that page out. This is the page we swapped out. I don't think I selected a page for here, but my menu up here, I'm going to come back and do another class on menus on how you swap out and change your menus. So let me know in the comments below if you want me to show you how I customized and made all the different menus. There is another video that I did do here on this channel. Like I said, you're either going to see it up above or in the description where I created this as a custom page I created from scratch because I wanted to show showcase all my live workshops. So um, I cl you click here, my menu is still the same, even though I'm using, I'm demoing this page, this is a pre. All right, so this is the page that I created and you'll be able to see this um, once, you know, I created this page, but you'll go and go take a look at, see how I created this page from scratch. All right, so hopefully that's helpful. I would start there and then I would, once I create that first page, I would figure out, okay, so what do I wanna see? Do I wanna showcase you know, all of my classes, it's going to, I changed, I think this says all products. I changed mine to all solutions and you go there, right? And then I just customize and put my own uh, classes here. And I'm going to come back later and kind of show you how I even these out, made them in Canva, made them very quick, unique. I wanted them to look alike, right? For all the different classes and things like that. And um, yeah, and then I have a community already that's built out okay all right you guys have been great uh, comment below let me know uh, if you want to see more videos as well all right thank you goodbye for now